It's me again. I'm that preacher. I'm that teacher. I'm probably so. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Seventy nine. I run for here. Jesus has been a friend. I tighten up. When I'm feeling blue, and I don't know what to do, I call your name. I call your name. Call his, call his, call his name. Call his name. When I'm feeling blue, and the world loves me too. He's what you do when you're down and blue. Still battle, still stand, still 
myself in a man with the Bible in my hand. A rebel new sleep. A rebel new sleep. Email me. A rebel new sleep, please. Email the church, New Life Open Doors Church at Yahoo.com. Email me at EC Williams, 62 Gmail. Write us, call us, dial us. We're in the highways, we're in the byways. I'm Rebel Nation. Give God, give God some praise. Grab your Bible with me and turn to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Curses, curses, curses. You don't want to steal. Blessings and saints. You want the fruit of the fruit. The blessings and saints. Falling down on your head. I'm rubbing this up. Seven of the most high God. Seven of the most high God. I love him. 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 Yeah. Still standing. Still standing. I'm working on that web, New Life Open Doors Church, WW. If you don't have it, it should be up in the time. Welcome to Sleep. You can get all of our programs, our web pages and everything. www.newlifeopendoorschurch. Can I say? In the highway. In the byway. I'm Robin Hood Swing, New Life, Open Doors. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those tuning in, praise God. Let me just bless the word. Hallelujah. We were at, we left off on last week. And the blessings, the curses and the blessings. And let me bless it, Father. We come in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for wisdom. Give us wisdom and clarity in your word, Lord. Can I say amen? You don't understand me. Praise God. Okay. Praise the Lord. And we just thank you for your word. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for your covenant. I truly am one that's grateful for all you do. Hallelujah, Jesus' name. Now, praise God. Uh, we picked up off, we left off on the blessings, chapter 28. I want you to recap verse 1. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow the commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. And these blessings will come upon you. Come on and accompany you. If you obey the Lord. Now I want you to underline if you because you have a choice. See, we have a choice to serve the Lord, or we have a choice to do anything until we leave and die. God give us man free will. Praise God. And I kind of realize I'm not going to reach everybody, but I'm going to reach somebody. I'm not, I'm not that preacher for everybody, but I'm for somebody. And God raised me up into a place to go out there into the highways and the byways. And you know the truth when you hear it. You can identify the truth. You might not want to hear it, but you know the truth. Kinda. And you, we know when we're guilty. So God is moving and elevating me from one level to the next. And I thank him, praise God. And I still, how many know he said the harvest is right, but laborers are few. So if you do what God told you to do, God is looking for people. God is looking for servants that he can use. The problem is everybody's chiefs. Everybody, so if you're a chief, you won't listen. I'm Jesus said, I come to serve. Come on, somebody there. I come to serve and wash your feet. He said, if you don't let me wash your feet, you can't be saved. Come on, Lord, now, I can't tell you to wash my feet. Yes, I must wash. So what is he's teaching them that I come to serve. Come on, somebody. Many of us want to be served, but we don't want to serve. So guess what? The Bible says the first will be last. And last will be first. Come on, somebody. God loves humble beginnings. But if you want it to be blessed, you must do what God tell you and then meet the test. Oh, come on, somebody. You don't understand me. What are you, what are you talking about, Reverend? I'm talking out of experience. I'm talking about God been with the Lord for 34 years. I started out with nothing. I got a little bit in my, in my cabinets now. Lord, and I owe it all to Jesus Christ. Praise God. And I invest. I invest. And I tell folks, I don't need too much too many gifts from the world. Praise God. But I accept all my blessings 
from God. Can I say that? And that's all right with me. Can I say, I said, that's all right with me. Can I say, all right? Amen. Now, let me show you something. So, praise the Lord. I want to speak on these things, and, and, and I'm encouraging you to give, especially if you're a minority. Everybody needs to, but many you can't eat. They said today housing is so high today. In L.A., you must be making $90,000 a year, and you consider poverty. Lord, help us, Jesus, at $90,000. Trying to buy, you consider poverty. Well, Lord, what about everybody else? Jesus, what about the folk with the little, little, little money? Jesus, at 90000 you consider poverty? That tells you what this world is headed. It tells you where we're headed. It tells you what's going on. It tells you, come on, the Bible says there'll be famine, trouble in the land. Come on, great famine. When they said peace, peace, sudden destruction. So gas prices are high. Rent is high. Property is high. Everything is high, but you blind. Let me show you something. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, I got to keep it moving. Let me find something. I got to find. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let me go. Let me go. So we're down at verse uh, 28. And oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. My time is running. They told me I only got a few minutes. I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep it moving. Mm, Jesus. Uh, well, let me just tell you. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, let me go to 28. Let me let me start with verse. Uh, I showed you it's too much to read. I don't have enough time. But let me uh, drop down. Oh, hallelujah. To verse 53. Because of the suffering, your enemy will afflict on you during the siege. You will eat the fruit of your wounds. Wait a minute. Let me go back. Let me go back uh, to verse 15. How if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow the commands and degrees I am giving you today. All these curses will come upon you. You will be cursed in the city and in the country. Your basket, your old, your dough, your kneeling dough will be cursed. The fruit of your womb will be cursed. The crops of your land, the calves of your herds, the lambs of your flocks. You will be cursed when you come in and cursed when you go out. Well, come on now. Now drop down. Let me move. Drop down to verse 25. The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will come at them from one direction. But in horror. Wait a minute. You will come at them with direct one direction. But in but flee from them in seven. You will come in one direction, flee in seven. You're gonna be the one on the run. Now what he's trying to tell you, I don't have enough time. I didn't know it. Enough time to go through us, but what he's trying to tell you, just what I make you, I will make your image your footstool. Now he said you're gonna be the footstool, you're gonna be the tail. So many you can't get no I care how much money you make, you ain't never get enough. I don't care how much money your money's cursed. I don't care what you get, your basket is cursed. Love it. And the only way you get to curse on you is they come to a God who put the curse on you. Lord, you must do it his way. Can I say, you must do, you must do it God's way. Let me move. Notice what it says. I want to drop down, oh Lord, drop down to verse 30. Verse 30. You will be pledged to be married to a woman, but another man will take her and rape her. Wait a minute. I'm in the know. He said, everything you touch, even the wife you got, is going to be cursed. You look around, you <laughs> I'm married, come to find she got pregnant by some other man. He done raped her, and she carried another man's child. And you're looking, Lord. But he's telling you these curses will come upon you. Come on, somebody. That you don't hear this. You can't get away from God. You can't get around God. If God said it, he's going to do it. You don't understand me. Let me move. I got to move. I got to move. You will be pledged to marry her to a woman, but another man will take her and rape her. You will build a house, but you will not live in it. You will plant a vineyard, but you will not even enjoy its fruit. Your ox will be slaughtered before your eyes, but you will eat none. Your donkey will be forcibly taken from you, and you will not. it will not be returned. Your sheep will be given to your enemies, and no one will rescue them. I got to go. Now notice what it says. I got to go. Oh, Jesus. The Lord will send sinful plagues on you. On you. I got to go. I got to. Uh, my time is up. I got to go. I'm rebel new sin. I'm here to tell you today you need to turn from your sin. Blessed. Choose life or death. I ran out of time. Choose life or death. The choice is yours. Many of you are dying because you chose death. But you can live while you're under the sound of my voice. Turn to the Lord while it's called death. Turn to Jesus. If not, 
If not, I meet you at the crossroad. I meet you at the crossroad where hell or heaven choice is yours. I gotta go. What time is it? It's time to go. You still breathing? Cry out. You still breathing? Cry out. You still breathing? Cry out to the living God. Repent what it's called day. I gotta go. I gotta go. Don't don't be caught dead in your sin. I gotta go. I'm rather than say it in L O D. Until the next time, whatever you do, keep your eyes on the prize. Keep praising the name of the Lord.